Hi guys, welcome back. Dan here from Design Mountain, bringing you all things design. This week, we're going to take a look at how to apply draft to parts in SolidWorks. Let's jump in and take a look. So the first option um, for drafting we're going to look at is um, the draft that you can apply in the extrude feature. So to start this, we're going to come on the top plane and we're going to sketch a center rectangle. Just going to snap that to the origin so it's coincident. And we're going to say that it's, I don't know, 100 mil by 75 mil. Come up to the extrude feature and we're going to say that it's 50 mil high. And where we want to apply the draft, if you see this option here, you've got the draft on, off option. So we're going to click that on. Um, you can change the units um, for draft in degrees. One degree there, I'm going to say it's 10. And you have an option also to draft it outwards. So you can see on the preview there, non-drafted, drafted, draft in, draft out. So that's pretty cool. Another option where you can um, apply draft if we delete this sketch, we will come to the line feature, put a center line in uh, and draw this shape. Make the center line for construction. We will add our draft. into the sketch. Um, it's worth noting that this can only be applied in one side of the part of which you'll see in a minute. So if we go to mirror, entities to mirror, and we'll mirror about center line. So now when we go to extrude, Has applied the draft to two of the four faces. So the next one we're going to look at is actually using the draft feature. So if you come up to the draft feature here, we've got three options. We've got neutral plane, parting line, and step draft. First one we're going to look at is the neutral plane. So the neutral plane in this example, I'm going to select the bottom face of the part. And the first thing you'll notice is this arrow here which is the um, direction uh, for the draft. So essentially you need to imagine um, the tooling direction of the part, if you're considering a molding part. That's uh, where you need to sort of get your head at. You've got the draft angle, we'll apply it for 10 degrees here. And the faces we want the draft applied to, we will select all these faces. When you select all the faces, go ahead and select the tick box button and uh, there you can see it applies the draft to the part. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to delete this draft so we go back to our cube. And um, to do the parting line draft, we first want to create a parting line on this object. So to do that, I'm going to select the right plane. I'm going to sketch a line. I'm going to use the split line tool to um, create our parting line. So, create a sketch, select the split line, you can use the projection option, select the four faces of the cube to split the faces with the split line. And we're now ready, we've created our parting line, um, which is related to, you know, how it's going to be made. So we go draft, parting line, we're going to say 10 degrees, direction of pull, we're going to select the top plane. And um, it's always worth knowing, note the direction of pull. So we're saying the up arrow in, is indicating that the draft is gonna come uh, in at the top here. So parting line, we're gonna select the loop that we created using the split line. And notice that the arrows on the parting line are in line with the direction of pull. So this is indicating that the draft is gonna be in this direction you can switch the um, parting line direction there with other face 
but we don't want to in this instance. So we go OK and it's applied the draft from the parting line, which is cool. Um, it's worth knowing that you can't do bi-directional draft in one feature. So if we want to draft this bottom section, we'll now come in, we will select the direction of pull and we want to change it. We want it to go down in this instance because we want to draft it um, in the other direction. We're going to select our parting line. Right, so 10 degrees, yes, okay. And there we have um, the part drafted uh, in both directions using the part in line that we created from the split line feature. So the last one we're going to look at is the step option. So we're just going to delete the setup for the last one. Uh, so to create the step um, sort of parting line on this part, we're going to use the same process. So we're going to come in, sketch on the right plane, and going to draw our step that we're going to use to split the faces. So we're going to use projection again, flat sketch and then the split line projects our sketch onto the faces. Come into draft, I'm going to use the step draft option and um, we've got the degrees here, direction of pull, we will select um, top plane, parting line is the same as before. And notice how it has split the draft on the faces. And this is dependent on the selection of the um, the selection for the direction of pull. So the top lane here starts, look at where it starts, the draft. starts from that point. So what we want to do, roll back the draft, want to um, go to reference geometry plane and you want to, um, we're going to use the top plane as the first reference, we're going to select that vertex because that's the lowest point. We're going to roll the tree back down, we're going to edit the feature and we're going to clear, we're going to use that and that's given us a tidier result but it's still not the best up here so what we can do is, I'm just going to show you this example if we use the parting line option instead of the step line so the parting line has not staggered the faces, it's created it all from the parting line that we've requested. So um, yeah, that's it for today, um, a few ways that you can apply draft to your parts.